Oh, shock, it's a girl. Gally is automatically wary, realizing you might throw off the harmony of the Glade as the only female so far. He's still the first to jump down into the box to help you out of there. You all right, Greeny? Able to stand? Never mind the standing. He finds out you can scream real fast. He keeps his distance for your sake as you thrash around. He gets why you're telling everyone to back off, but when you desperately lunge for a spear amongst this month's box supplies, he grapples you to the floor without a second thought. Slim it! You're gonna hurt yourself! He's impressed by your instincts, but keeps you pinned until the weapons are hauled out of the box out of reach. For the amount you're screaming in his ear, he expects to be deaf by the end of this fiasco. He uses his whole body to pin you, his large hands gripping your smaller wrists above your head as you try and fail to headbutt him. He has to smirk at your tenacity. The other gladers are laughing, clapping and egging you on as if you have any chance against him. But no matter how much you struggle, your strength is no match for the keeper of the builders. Come back once you've had a few years of hard grafting in the glade and he'll see. But for now, the fact you can't get loose only seems to amp up your panic. Lucky then that Newt, the ever calming second in command, bounces down into the box to intervene. You've got such a way with the ladies, Gally. Now hop off. Mounting her isn't a good way to say hello. Gally brushes off Newt's ribbing, despite the laughter from the other gladers then lets go of you once the second in command has you calmed down. He waits a few moments more until he knows you're not going to start another ruckus, then holds himself out of the box. The other gladers tease him, so he shoves them, telling them to wind their necks in, then watches the rest of your exchange with Newt with interest. A live wire like you is going to cause unknown chaos in the glade. He shocking knows it.